Carducci and I'm an actress. I'm also a first time filmmaker. I just wrote, directed, produced, shot, lit, um, set designed and everything else on my first short which is uh, titled Dante's World. I'm very happy with the outcome uh, for a first try. No help besides my own and um, my very good friend Gino uh, Caffarelli who is the actor in it. Um, he and I came up with all kinds of different ideas for shooting it and it was all done in this apartment. This is my house. So um, one location, uh, one actor and uh, one director, one camera. Dante's world is really about, um, you know, life is too short, you know, and uh, you, you shouldn't hold grudges. And you should, first of all, you, you will definitely regret it if you are holding a grudge against someone that you love and uh, whether it be mother, father, sister, best friend, cousin, lover, uh, whoever, and that person, God forbid, passes away and you never got a chance to make uh, amends. I hope that people enjoy this movie. Um, I certainly did. It's dark uh, and it's pretty good. Local noise. Don't worry. The writing is good. Uh, and I feel that the role that they're offering me or that I'm auditioning for is uh, something that makes me feel something, that inspires me, that maybe while I read it, if it was sad, it made me cry, it made me laugh out loud, it touched me, it moved me. Um, I guess it just has something that has to move me and that uh, I have to visually be able to see it. My most memorable role as an actress was definitely my first role, um, which Robert De Niro discovered me on an open call. I played his wife in A Bronx Tale and um, just went in blind, like on the blind. No headshot, no um, previous uh, experience in acting, um, just the drive to do it. He said something to me that I'll never forget. He said, when it's your time and it's your role, there's nothing to keep you from getting it. Nothing. And when someone gets you, like when you walked into my office, I got you. Um, that's it, the connection's there and it's just meant to be. Also, I guess my role on Sopranos, it was an experience and that was something from, again, from beginning to end. I was on it, started the pilot, and then I went straight through until the end. I played Charmaine Bucco, I played Artie Bucco's wife, and um, that was definitely an experience beyond. Don't tell me that you took money from Tony Soprano. How is it different? I'm giving Camilla my support, that's how. And, and, and it's for a very reputable cause. But to have that man as a partner, trust me, Artie, that would be insane. Uh, recently, I just filmed Hung. I'm very excited about that because I got to play something I normally don't play as somebody who is sexy and sexual and funny. So it's a small part, but just doing it and getting the chance to do something like that was a lot of fun. So, um, and I just uh, did a movie where I play a degenerate, uh, coke addicted, um, lesbian detective in a movie, degen dege degenerate gambler. It's called The Last Gamble and Stephen Bowers in that and uh, I really like that film. So that's something else. And I did my first comedy called Group Sex with Tom Arnold. So there's things going on, but uh, I definitely, definitely would love to direct something else and um, get behind the camera again.